Oh, 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 those foolish Swedes notching Jeps thinks they are so clever. But I have tricked them in this Minecraft world and I will show you how now. Winston, is the machine ready? What do you mean, what? Fine, I will do it myself. You shall see the fruits of my hard labor after months of painstaking research and work has gone into the greatest creation Minecraft has ever seen. Ein Sphere in Minecraft! Shall press the button and turn around. And there it is, in its spherical round glory. <laughs> oh, hello, my little sprechen. Log.zip here. <laughs> no, what's up, guys? Log.zip here, and welcome back to another Minecraft Redstone thing it's super cool it's vanilla it's so sweet and i wanted to show it off to you i saw this awesome little thing made by killer creeper 55 that actually adds spheres as you saw into minecraft and it's completely vanilla it's using redstone a lot of redstone as you can see with lots of command blocks but uh, it was just a cool little thing that i wanted to show off and uh, if you guys want to see more things like this little cool redstone adventures make sure you leave a like on the video lets me know that you want to see more but for those of you that follow redstone Stone just a little bit, you'll know that there's a cool little thing you can do with minecarts. You can actually place blocks in minecarts, right? And uh, sometimes when you place them, you can actually set the height of where the block will appear. So, for example, you can make, uh, well, I'll show you. We'll click this button, and you'll see a bunch of carts. They're placed sideways, and this takes advantage of the new snapshot for 1.8's ability to actually change the rotation of objects that you place. Like, if we look in this command block, you can see that the rotation of the cart is changed so that it can place things sideways. We even have an example right here of the cart being placed, even though it's not on a rail or anything, no kind of track whatsoever, it is still placed on a diagonal, and you can use it to actually draw, it's a little, it's a little bit finicky, you can use it to draw little shapes of blocks you normally wouldn't be able to. Notice how it's diagonal. Normally you're not going to be able to do something like that. And uh, so on this map there are a bunch of different setups of various blocks and what you'll notice is the more command blocks you use the smoother of a shape you can actually get. So we'll go ahead and blow those up right now. So over here are a bunch of different uh, spots set up uh, that will showcase some of the cool things you saw for example so we'll place a redstone block right here and you'll see it'll spawn right over there a set of rings now if we look closely these are actually just a crap ton of minecarts placed and rotated to show off the different blocks to make it seem like it is a circular object like a ring a set of rings going around this and it's really sweet and the fact that you can do this in vanilla minecraft it's almost like it breaks the game because it's not it's not a cube it's it's various different shapes and uh... what's funny is you can actually run into it and it'll cause it to oh. there we go so as you can see it's just a bunch of different blocks all combined together to form a different shape and I've seen some really impressive geometric combinations here we'll go over, we'll actually we'll show this one too apparently this one only works for 1.7 and 1.8 and uh, I've noticed you can actually use the ring and then you can place another and it stacks it right on top so if you were to uh, set your command blocks properly you could get a huge stack just going up super high and I don't know just looks pretty cool kinda looks like the uh, logo for that one television uh, station but yes over here we've got another fine example uh, you can continuously add more and more rings we've got a six ring set you add a couple more it'll look like uh, almost like that thing that the motorbikers ride in at the fairs so over here I think this one will form our first full full cube and you can actually see it being built and that's one of the coolest things about it you know it's a little bit imperfect but considering it's in Minecraft without having to add any sorts of mods or anything I don't know, I find it mighty impressive and uh, it's causing me to lag a little bit so I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of the uh, Get rid of all the blocks there. You can actually place a block right there in order to do that. And over here, we've got my little setup that I built earlier. Kind of took it apart, and uh, I think the assistant here, he, uh, he took a hike. He, didn't, he was sick of waiting around. But yes, you could do it with any blocks you want as well. So over here, we've got the glowstone one. Now, one thing to keep in mind, unfortunately, um, I'll see if I can showcase this right here. It might not work the best I want it to. Uh, actually, what is quite interesting about it is um, even though that these are all glowstone blocks being placed, they don't actually, gosh, that is loud. 
Uh, any glowstone blocks or any blocks that give light placed like that will not actually place light. So that sucks a little bit. You kind of have to do some magic, and you know, if you want if you want it to actually have light, you'd want to put a glowstone for the block that they stand on. But you'll notice if you actually break any of these, you'll you'll slowly start to break them. And uh, maybe this isn't the best example to use it on, but I'll show you the one right over here. Um, when you actually break uh, part of the shape, you'll see it begin to come apart. So if we start clicking on some of these, I believe that's how it works. Or maybe you start clicking on the minecarts. Yes, you'll see it start breaking apart. Uh, because I'm in creative mode, I can break the carts fairly easily. But there's just a ton of blocks that were placed in order to make this shape. So, you know, you have to kind of be careful. And one thing I did notice is after a little bit of time, and we'll leave that one for now so I can show you later. So I'll tell you that one when I come back to it. But yes, you can do it with every block. It's not going to look too great with every single texture. As you can see with the diamond here, it kind of overlaps a little bit. A little bit ugly in my opinion. Choose your blocks wisely if you want to make any spheres with this. Of course, the uh, map download will be in the description as well as a tutorial on how to do it. You might want to just get the map yourself and toy with it a little bit so you don't have to place all these command blocks and choose the coordinates um, randomly. Now this part, Killer Creeper set up himself, and I have to say, I am quite amazed by it. He used the combination of, I think, mossy bricks, spawning large fire entities. Well, I'll just show you. Uh, this could be an example of a cool final boss appearance of him blowing up and showing up. So this is the Ender Dragon. And look at that. You can see it just... It spawns the Ender Dragon right as he dies. It almost looks like an Earth that's on fire, slowly blowing up. And it's, it's so impressive to me. I think that's what it's supposed to be. Uh, an earth exploding and catching on fire. So it's just amazing what uh, you can do now with all this redstone and command blocks. I actually think I reset that um, thing when I press the block over there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just chill here. And when it starts to disappear, I will uh, talk then. Well, I've been sitting here for five minutes, and of course it wouldn't work right as I start to try and record. But one thing I've noticed occasionally will happen um, if you leave these spheres out for too long is the uh, the actual rounded parts themselves will slowly disappear. See? Oh! Speak of the devil. So I guess I did not wait long enough, but that is exactly what happens. Uh, after a while, the uh, rotated carts will despawn, as you can see, and it will only leave these ones above. So anyone's placed on a flat plane like this... Uh, will remain, but any that are curved to those crazy directions that you've seen before, they tend to disappear after, I don't know, it seemed like I was waiting for about 5 or 10 minutes, I'm not sure exactly why I just did that. And uh, here's a cool one actually, now that I can show you it. So uh, you can actually watch this baby fall through the ground. So I thought that was pretty neat. Uh, not all in one piece, as you can tell, but uh, I don't know, just, again, it's really impressive to see this in vanilla Minecraft without anything added to it at all, so <laughs> we're going to let that thing slowly fall. And one other thing I wanted to show you just a bit of, um, in fact, let me just break this now, if that will disappear any faster. There we go. See, th this uh, resets everything. So we're going to place that cube one more, or the uh, sphere one more time, and you'll notice another really cool thing about it is I forgot to put that part back. So let me go ahead and do that. We'll just place it just like that. And you'll be able to see exactly what I mean. You can actually place blocks right through the sphere, and you can make for some cool-looking contraptions doing that. And if you work the redstone properly, you could uh, make it come back every few minutes when it does start to despawn like that. So you can actually build through it, and you can make some really interesting shapes. And since you can use any block, anyone with a creative mind could maybe make an actual earth out of spheres using the right wool at the right places. So uh, I, unfortunately, am not creative enough to do something like that. But I would love to see, if anyone sees this video, what they can come up with. Uh, yeah, but that's about it, guys. All the same, I hope you enjoyed this little sphere thing. If you do, please leave a like on it. Let's see if we can get 500 likes on this video. And, uh, you know, show your friends because I want to see, I want to start seeing this being utilized in custom maps and cool stuff because it's got a lot of potential, uh, assuming the uh, developers Notch and Jeb and Dinnerbone and all those guys don't think it's blasphemous to have shapes other than cubes going on in the game. So yeah, either way guys, I really hope you enjoyed the uh, video and uh, I will catch you tomorrow. Thanks.